Hey there. Welcome to a review of the mobile, the employee mobile experience using the HCM to go workforce ready mobile app. During this video, I'm going to be using a, um, a demo company that has all modules enabled. You're going to see some common employee self-service features that, that a lot of our customers, a lot of the Beyond Pay customers use on a regular basis. Um, now, depending on the modules that your company has enabled, you may not see all of this functionality. If you're interested in some functionality that you're not able to see once you start using the mobile, do contact either your company administrator or your CSR with Beyond Pay. Now, I do recommend, if you've not already done so, go ahead and watch the video for how to install the mobile app on your cell phone. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mobile app and let's take a look at it. Now, I've already downloaded the app onto my Android phone and my Android phone allows for fingerprint. So the mobile app is going to open. It's gonna prompt me to enter my fingerprint. Now I'm gonna be logging in as a regular hourly employee. Um, this particular hourly employee's name is Michael, and Michael can see as soon as he logs in that he gets paid again in eight days. Now this information is on what we call Michael's dashboard, and every um, user can have a have a slightly different dashboard depending on what you give them access as company administrators, you give them access to see and do. So here we have um, also the ability to view his pay history. So Michael ha can come in here, take a look at his recent paychecks. He could also go into historical paychecks. Now Michael can easily scroll and see the most recent checks or he could have entered a date um, in those fields and gone even further back. But in this case, Michael is just looking at a summary of the March 8th payroll and he wants to actually open that pay statement and take a look at it. So we're going to go ahead and open this pay statement. And that's a W-2 that I had previously downloaded. So this is a pay statement that Michael can take a look at. And here is um, his punches. So if you're using the time and attendance module, you'd be able to show paste, uh, punches on the timesheet if you wanted to. Also accrual balances, how much sick and vacation time Michael has, you can see that. You can see his tax filing. This is really what his pay statement um, with it is. Um, he's able to download this and then print it um, if his phone is set up to be able to print. Okay, so that's some pretty cool functionality that Michael can do on the mobile app related to his pay statement. Now there's a couple other options at the top. So Michael could also come up here and take a look at his forms. So we have his W-2s here showing on this first section. Now I could download my W-2. You can also see that I've already electronically consented to receive my W-2. Um, but I could also take a look at my withholding forms here. I could download these withholding forms and view them if I wanted to. Okay, now kind of moving over to the right here, we have direct deposits. If your company allows an employee to add direct deposits or to edit direct deposits, they can easily do that um, on the mobile, mobile app. Now again, that's based on security permissions and your company policy. You may not see that option. So those are some really common things that employees want to see and look at and potentially change, and they can do all of that on their mobile. So I'm just going to go into um, the home screen here by clicking on the hamburger menu. It brings me back to my dashboard. Now there's a couple other things that Michael is going to want to do today. He, he wants to, um, to clock in. 
So we do have the ability to look at a specific location that the employee is at, and if they're not within a certain distance of that location, these clock in buttons, clock out buttons, as well as the change um, department would not be available. Um, they would be available, but there would be a warning message that would pop up. So um, maybe Michael's been working for, you know, throughout the day, and now he's going to start working on a new task. And Michael can easily change that task. He can do this even if his phone um, doesn't have service. So our, the mobile app will store the punch if, uh, or the, the data if the phone doesn't have service. And then when the phone does have service, it will populate the timesheet, preventing you know, problems with the timesheet or manual entries. Now Michael's going to go ahead and allocate some hours to um, to St. Luke's. We'll just say, okay, all right. So he was successfully transferred to that task. All right. So now that Michael's done everything as far as clocking in and clocking out and changing his task, he just wants to take a look at his hours for the pay period. Now I can see just on initial glance that I've got an incomplete timesheet today, but you know what, that's to be expected because I haven't clocked out for the day. Um, but those kind of warnings you can easily see on timesheets if there's any issues. Now if there were any issues, the employee can easily submit a change request. So if I chose to correct a missing punch or to add um, uh, or to modify request that a, a punch is modified, I can easily do that. Which day do I want to modify? I'm going to actually modify this 721 um, AM punch, and I want that to actually be, it should actually be 821. Um, okay, so I've already, I'm going to go ahead and submit this change. I can put in a comment, you know, accidentally clocked in early, um, but I'll go ahead and submit this change. Now this goes to my manager um, or Michael's manager for approval. Um, and then what happens from there is that punch automatically appears on the timesheet once it's approved. Okay. The employee could also um, submit their timesheet. Once the pay period's over or they work the last day of the pay period, they could go ahead and submit the timesheet. Okay. They could also um, navigate into the his, his, um, into the last pay period, view all those the historical timesheets if they need to um, easily with, um, with the mobile app. Another really common feature is the time off request. So sitting on the couch with Michael's wife, he could uh, be planning a vacation. He's going to go ahead and say, you know what, I am going to take a vacation, and but I need to make sure I've got enough time. And I can see, oh, yeah, I've got plenty of time. I've got eight days here, so I'm going to go ahead and take a vacation. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to take a, a long weekend more than a vacation. We're going to go ahead and choose um, the 16th. And we'll go ahead and submit this request. Now, warnings are going to pop up to the employee if certain things are happening. In this case, this is already an employee's scheduled day off. Um, and maybe he would cancel this. But in this case, we'll go ahead and continue. So those kinds of warnings the mobile app is, is looking for, um, you know, based on the settings in the, the system. Okay, now there's some other options across the top, um, depending on what you have um, enabled, you're going to see those options or not. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard here. Now we've looked at everything related to our timesheet and taken care of everything related to that. We're just going to kind of keep um, scrolling through here. Now this next section is your benefit enrollment. Now we're not going to be covering benefit enrollment on today's webinar. We do have a separate recorded webinar on how the benefit enrollment works with the mobile, but it is very intuitive and easy to, to use and, and do. So, um, but again, I'm going to record that in a separate video. So be sure to take a look at that one. Just kind of scrolling through here, 
we have announcements. The employee can actually click on these and take a look at some additional information that you want them to know. Um, so we have announcements. We also have kind of stats, time stats. So how much vacation hours do I have available? Um, you know, how many out regular overtime hours? So all that's configurable based on what the company wants to show the employee. And now we have your weekly totals. So the employee can take a look and see where they are as far as their weekly totals. And last but not least on my dashboard, I have turtles and I can feed them. These are popular, not just in the mobile app, but in, um, in the PC system. So you actually feed the turtles and they will um, be happy. Uh, <laughs> just a couple more things and um, I want to review with you. We do have the ability to, um, to use checklists in the mobile app. So in the top right-hand corner, you see the number three and an envelope. So the employee can actually click on this envelope and it brings them into their things that they need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over to my checklist here. And I'm gonna look, I can see I've got my new hire paperwork that I need to finish. Okay, I can see I'm halfway done. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that checklist. And the first thing it shows me is that I need to finish my I-9 form. Okay, now I can take a look um, at my I-9. can add comments to my I-9. I can mark it complete. Again, I can view my I-9. Here's the details. And a lot of this data will be automatically populated when you first open this form and the employee has certain sections they need to complete, and then they would submit. The nice part of our system is that if they don't complete what they need to complete, these prompts are gonna jump out to them saying, hey, you, you need to fill in the required fields. So that keeps you in compliance with the um, regulations. Okay, so let me go back up here. I clicked off of that accidentally. All right, so going to the right facing arrow here, we're going to go to fill out our withholding forms. And um, I go ahead and click into this. It's going to open up my 2019 that I've started. And from here, I could go ahead and complete my download, um, my forms that I've already completed, as well as complete new ones. All right, so now going ahead and going into the next section is my direct deposit. And this is the onboarding forms that I've set up in this demo company. Yours are going to be very custom to you, so you may not have some of these um, be set up. And you may have some additional ones also. Okay. Just moving into the benefit enrollment as a new employee, I'm able to do that. And again, we're going to review the benefits in a separate video. So very easy to complete the forms that you need to complete, to review the forms that you need to, um, to have at your fingertips. And of course, you can download those forms and access them um, as, as needed. So, so one last thing that I want to review with you is this hamburger menu in the top left-hand corner. There is a technical term for those three lines. Um, we are gonna call it the hamburger menu today. <laughs> so if I go ahead and click on that, it's going to bring me into a menu list of menu items. And as you can tell, I could take a look at time information. There's some options under time information. I could look at my schedule, benefits, my HR. All of that's available for myself. Now, if I'm a manager and I'm, I have employees that report to me, I will also have a, um, a double person option here. And I can actually take care of employee related um, items, okay? So make sure that you do, if you are a manager watching this video, uh, please do watch the upcoming video for the manager experience using the mobile app. We will be recording that in the next um, week or so. So definitely reach out, definitely um, take a look at that. If you're not using the mobile app currently, uh, let, talk to your CSR and, um, and your CSR can, can help get things rolling so that you can use the mobile app.
um, moving forward. We're really excited about this, and we look forward to you guys um, getting excited, getting getting excited about it. Also, um, I appreciate you watching the video today, and um, let us know if we can help you with anything. Have a wonderful day.